Doom Patrol Volume 1 ended with issue 121 in 1968. Titled The Beginning of the End, the issue opens with artist Bruno Primiani asking editor Murray Boltonoff if it's true that the Doom Patrol are going to die. Boltonoff addresses the readers directly, declaring that it will be up to them whether Doom Patrol survives. Hey, no pressure. The official story begins on the next page, with the dastardly Madame Rogue kicking off a campaign to terrorize and humiliate Doom Patrol, particularly Niles Calder, her former lover. Hey, don't let that wheelchair and scruffy beard fool ya. Chief gets it done. Madame Rogue's first step is to send a message to Calder by blowing up the headquarters of her former Brotherhood of Evil colleagues, murdering the brain in Monsieur Mala, the super intelligent French gorilla. That is no way to treat a monkey. She next orders a drive-by shooting outside the Doom Patrol headquarters in Midway City, which gravely injures an innocent bystander. A subsequent napalming of the headquarters leads to three enemy helicopters being blown out of the sky. Unamused at the continued threats to public safety, the U.S. government threatens to deport Doom Patrol. The chief says that won't be necessary, and he and his team voluntarily leave the country amidst the public scorn for their apparent cowardice. But the chief reveals that he has a secondary headquarters already established on a Caribbean island and he plans to launch a counter-offensive against Madame Rogue. But as soon as their plane lands, Doom Patrol is attacked by Madame Rogue and her new ally, Captain Zal, a filthy Nazi submarine commander who has his own personal vendetta against the Chief, who he blames for the explosion that ravages his body. Zal has weapons designed to neutralize each member of Doom Patrol. A special dust bomb prevents Mr. Negative from releasing his energy form. A steel net somehow captures Elastigirl, and then a directed magnetic charge immobilizes Robot Man. But Zal had promised Madame Rogue that he wouldn't kill Doom Patrol because she wanted to prolong their suffering. So instead, he plans to publicly humiliate Doom Patrol, destroying their reputation once and for all. He presents them with a choice. He says he will either blow up the island, killing Doom Patrol, or a small fishing village in Maine, murdering its 14 inhabitants and he's broadcasting their choice to a global audience. Will Doom Patrol save themselves or the lives of 14 strangers? Being true heroes, Doom Patrol vote to sacrifice themselves to save others. Zal is so angry, he breaks his promise to Madame Rogue and detonates the bomb, destroying the island. The issue ends with editor Murray Boltonoff telling readers that it's now their turn to be superheroes. Then, in the letters page, he says the only thing that can save Doom Patrol is... A spike in sales! He implores readers to tell their friends, even their enemies, to buy the issue. Otherwise, Doom Patrol would remain dead. And the emotional plea worked! A movement was started, kids everywhere lined up to buy multiple copies of the book, and a Doom Patrol craze soon swept the nation. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. No one gave a damn, and the book was cancelled. The end.